Alright, what is up YouTube? It is your boy T-H-E on the mic. I'm back at you with another video on a whole different channel. Um, so, last channel got taken down unfortunately. Um, I'm probably going to make a video on that later. But, it's still your favorite hoodie man. Hoodie man? I like one. Well, it's still your boy, Transparent Hoodie Entertainment. But, <sighs> We have ourselves, oh, that moment of silence was just too good, but we have ourselves another Devil May Cry video. Um, I actually wanted to do a video talking about what could we expect to see from Devil May Cry on Tokyo Game Show, but I didn't actually have the opportunity to. So right now, pretty much what we're going to be doing is just reacting to what is coming out for Tokyo Game Show. And I can't wait. I got spoiled a little bit because I think I saw lady but i haven't seen lady in this hyper realistic devil may cry 5 style that they have going on so i can't wait i can't wait okay 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 i'm warning though because a lot of people have been harping me about this during my last videos or last a couple of older older videos or whatever guys i'm, I'm a hype person man i get hyped easily like i'm easily impressed and hyped and devil may cry it touches those funny bones of hypeness so I'm going to be pausing this if anything crazy happens. Um, just unfortunate my sister is sleeping in the background, so I can't make too much noise. But I'm sorry. It's just, it's devil may cry. I got to make some noise. Like, okay, 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 let's go. Okay, rated M. Rated M for mature, yes. Blood, violence, nudity, sexy people. There, there we go. Okay. Oh, no, at... Oh my god. Hold on guys, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me get my headphones. Let me get my headphones. Ooh. Yo, this is crazy. Wait, let me lower this down. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, I got the headphones on. Got the headphones on. I literally had to rant for these headphones. Okay. Oh wait 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 whoa 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 where's the volume at? Am I am I tweaking out? Okay. Okay, no no no. We're good, we're good. I got volume. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. And you tell yo Guys, I have the straightest face in 14 realities, man. You're telling me Dante in some of these maps he doesn't look like he's in hell? see her ew i mean not in that screenshot and why does lady look like a little boy <laughs> yo 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 why does lady look like a little boy Ooh, no rewind that please no get up get away yo lady looks so weird <laughs> Oh, Trish. Whoa, grandmother? Grand? Wait, 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 wait. Now, before we start analyzing anything, let's just watch the trailer. Wait, she says she she knew a gunsmith? Guess I get to see it with my own eyes. Yo, Dante does look aged. Dante. I'm gonna go too. Which one wants to play? Ooh, that's definitely a taunt. Right here. 
Can we see Lucia? Is Lucia in this, please? I mean, they're not giving you too much information about the story. I feel like even though this trailer is showing us so much more new stuff, it doesn't give us... Damn! Oh my god! Look at... Mm, look at Dante! Ooh, look at Devil Trigger! Oh... Wait, what? Meet your new client. V O He who desires but act not breeds pestilence. So it is written. Okay. March eighth, yeah. They're gonna show us the pre order bonuses. Here we go. So here's the pre-order bonuses and stuff. I hope they come out with a collector's edition. It'll be kind of unfortunate if they don't. Oh, in Capcom fashion, they have some goofy arms for Nero. <laughs> I think that's pretty dope. Okay, so with the deluxe edition, the deluxe edition includes the full game and the following additional content. Um, live action cutscenes, battle... Ooh! I wonder when this deluxe edition is available for pre-order, though. Okay. Collector's edition? Statue? Aw, oh, that's it. Shit, that's it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. First things first, we're gonna rewind. We're gonna rewind this thing real quick. Okay. Um, so, for the most part, I think Morrison's cool. He's definitely uh Devil may cry. Okay. I got a gig. Cash up front. Okay. So I'll be reasonable. Cause you guys already know my thought pattern right now. So this is pretty much an old dog barking up the same old tree of oh Dante's in hell or the game starts off in hell or um, Dante goes back and forth um, to hell. Maybe that could be the scenario too because like I was mentioning in the older video on my other channel that got deleted that um, I personally believe that this game or this storyline for Devil May Cry 5 is going to be all about claiming the status of Demon King or whatever. So everybody or most demons right now that have even the f fragment of power is trying to claim the status of Demon King. So it would make sense if Dante is constantly going back and forth through hell. And I think even in this trailer itself, Nico does kind of reference that everywhere is just fucked. Like, re regardless of the realm, regardless of the um, place that you are, I, I think even heaven's probably a little bit shaken up. If heaven it d exists in this game. But mostly, the human world in hell is all up and ride because there's no proper... I guess there's no proper figurehead for the... Yeah, there's no proper figurehead for, like, who is leading what. So now everybody has this, like, ambition to just fill that void to be the next figurehead to be able to control the underworld or maybe control the human world. Who knows? Okay, let's go. And it's just the gameplay is so nice. Like, like I understand... Okay. I understand Dante is an iconic character, and they want to make you feel like... Or I guess they want you to make you feel, if you're an older Devil May Cry fan, they don't want Dante to feel too different. But I honestly think this is a missed opportunity to make Dante's character a little bit more extravagant. Don't get me wrong, this is not me saying that, oh, Dante is still the same character that he was in previous Devil May Cries, aka Devil May Cry 4. But I do hope that they spice him up a bit. Granted, I understand that this is just a trailer and they're just showing us the basics. They're just showing us that Dante is a familiar character, but... Throughout the game, there could be a completely new um, weapon, weaponry, completely new techniques that Dante could use that we just don't know about. Ooh. Nice. 
You guys hear the soundtrack? Oh my god. Oh, so good. So, so good. Okay, now this is where you get me kind of tripping out. Like, I'm sorry. Lady looks like a little boy. First come, first serve on the top. And Trish? I don't know. I really don't know. Trish looks okay. So Nico goes way back. I think everybody that had that theory that um, Nico is related to that one guy in Devil May Cry 4 is wrong. But I guess Nico is just the original character. I guess that's pretty much how we shave it up. Like there, her backstory is she is the gunsmith that allegedly made some of Dante's weapon. I wouldn't. Ooh. Ooh. What if Nico is related to the or the blacksmith that created Rebellion and created um, Yamato? That'd be interesting. That'd be very interesting. <laughs> my boy's getting a shave. The deadliest shave of all time. Yeah, Dante does look a bit older. I'm not gonna lie. Like he does look seasoned. He looks seasoned up to hardcore. Yo, I swear that's cool. I swear that has to be a taunt. If it's not a taunt, I want it to be a taunt. Okay. Yo, I just love, I'm just loving this soundtrack right now, man. And here's the devil trigger. Oh my god. Hey, this is my gig. Leave Nero out of this. It's just like. It's just so. Oh. Wow, okay. And now we get into motorcycle gameplay. Like, look at that. That's so smooth. Okay, okay. So, all right. I was taking it in for a second, but let me just make this one comment on it real quick. So, I was talk again, I was talking about this on my other video, that Devil May Cry 5, I feel like it's not going to be an open world game, but I will say it's a spacious game. So, these, okay. Um, let's let's see if I can okay so you see how there's areas like this right where the areas themselves or these road maps or these road paths that they have you going on seems and feels a little bit wider than usual I feel like honestly you might be able to ride the motorcycle in game like it won't just be a thing where you could just pop up and fight bad guys with it I think you can actually ride this thing through the game like through different areas through different road um roads that you're traversing you can actually ride this motorcycle because i feel like this devil may cry it's a bigger game kind of like how what they did with evil within where evil within was always kind of linear but evil within 2 they gave you a space that you can explore and you can walk around and run around in the game um i think they're doing the same thing with um devil may cry 5 there's going to be a lot of space in this game because just from CGI cutscenes and just from gameplay, it looks like this game has a lot of space, especially from that um Gamescon. Yes, the Gamecon trailer that we saw with Nero versus Goliath. It just looks like there's a lot of space. So okay. Oh, and this soundtrack is just so goddamn beautiful, man. I don't think. Okay, let me show you guys one thing. Um, 
This is a cool fight, but I don't think this guy is a boss battle. This is probably just a, a mini boss or an enemy that will constantly pop up throughout the game. A cool, he's a cool enemy though, I can't lie. Ooh, look at the devil trigger. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. Hey, this is my gig. Leave Nero out of this. I don't know. Dante to me has been fine for a while. Like I like even though even okay, even during Dante's very first reveal, I've never had a problem with his look. Nero didn't have a problem with his look. Nico, I never had a problem with her look or her character. Um I don't know though. I don't I really don't know though. Okay, they toned down the fan service for Trish a bit. Um she's still very attractive, very sexy. Um but I don't know. Like Trish's hyper realistic look, I'm going to have to get used to or maybe I have to just see her in motion, to see her move a little bit more. Um, so, hold up, where is, okay, Lady, I think I was a little bit too harsh on Lady, I don't think she looks that bad, uh, there we go, I, I think this is the best shot, I, I, this is the best shot I can get of Lady, yeah, that's the best shot I can get of Lady without the, it, all of this just crumbling on itself, and who is, what, who is that, Who who is that supposed to be? Meet your new client. He who desires but act not breeds pestilence. So it is written. I don't know, like okay. I can okay. I can see myself being okay with the new hyper-realistic lady and hyper-realistic Trish. Fine, cool, thumbs up. Honestly, I think I'm just harping just to harp. They don't look that bad. They still embody those characters. But V, um, I remember when I was talking about the leak footage that V, his, okay, during the leak footage, when that came out like a couple weeks ago, I think around August, um, I wasn't too fond of his appearance in the game. And I have gotten a couple of comments. I mean, right here, this shot of V right here is beautiful. This shot right here is amazing. I love it. Hold on, let me, um, can I, can I, f yes, I was able to get it. This shot right here of V, it's golden. This is the money shot. This is his good side. <laughs> but no, no, but all, okay, all seriousness though. He looks intimidating. He looks kind of fearful. And he, he honestly looks pretty badass in this shot. Like, I can't lie. He looks pretty cool. Um, again, V as a character, I still think there's a lot of mystery behind V and his intentions. Allegedly, he's hired Dante because he is Dante's most recent client. So he could be the reason why Dante is going up after Yurizen. Or, again, if you guys can make out the name of the guy that Dante just said, let me know in the comment section down below because I don't know what in the two chicken nuggets this man just said. Like... He said Argo, Ergo Sack. I don't know if he's re referencing or mentioning like an older individual that he's fought in the past or a newer individual, but I cannot make out what he's saying. I feel deaf. But yeah, I don't know. V to me, there's a lot of mystery behind his character. In my eyes, I don't think V is necessarily a villain in this game. Not saying that at all. But what I do think is though, V is definitely a player to take the throne of hell. Because right now, that's where I think the whole story of Devil May Cry 5 is going. You have Goliath, you have Urizen, you have V, and you probably have a couple other individuals that's trying to claim the throne of hell, but V's still a player. I don't know how Virgil adds up to any of this, and I don't know what's going on with him, whether it's he, if he's corrupt or not, if he's going on his own individual path to become whole again because he's split in two. Like, is Virgil a current player for hell? Like... I don't know what's going on. At this point in time, I don't believe Virgil's actually working for anybody, though. I think Virgil is just trying to recoup himself. Um, I don't know what's going on with his character, but apparently they're, ha they're, they're going to let us wait till March. They're going to have us wait till March to figure everything out. But yeah, 
Um, I think this is dope. This is very dope. This was a very dope trailer. Um, I'm happy we got to see more of V because that's what I was saying about in the leak footage. I definitely need to see him a little bit more. But I do like him though. He does look cool. His look overall is great to me. His appearance, awesome. Okay, so this shot right here of V, no. I don't know. I think V is definitely going to be a character I got to get used to, man. Like, he's, his demeanor, his style, his design is awesome. His face, though, I have to I have to see it more. I, I definitely have to see it more. Um, Nero always looked great. Dante, he was always a cool character, and I was always used to him. Um, Lady and Trish, I don't think they look bad at all. Realistically, let's... Okay, let's keep it serious. Seriously... I don't think Lady or Trish look that bad, honestly. They, they look all right. For their hyper-realistic voices, I mean voices, for their hyper-realistic looks, they look pretty decent. They look pretty good. Um, but just talking about the trailer itself and gameplay and just mechanics in general that I've noticed, um, Dante maintained or retained a lot of what made Dante Dante in Devil May Cry 4. I do hope throughout the game they give him different and unique abilities because already we already know that he has the motorcycle. But a lot of Dante's familiarity come or the reason why I feel like this character is really familiar to older Devil May Cry 4 Dante is because of all of the techniques and moves that still with the character. I'm not saying like, okay, storyline wise, obviously Dante wouldn't be knowing like a whole completely different move set combat wise. He will still retain a lot of the stuff that he would be comfortable with. But I do hope that they add a couple of new things to spice up the character a little bit more besides the motorcycle. Like um, new weapons, new gear. Um, oh, my phone just... Yeah, new weapon, new gear. Just so um, Dante can feel a little bit familiar. At the same time, he can feel refreshing with all the new stuff that they added on to him. Um, I still don't know what V can do, though. To me, this man has a cane. He has a crow. He's tatted up to the brim. I, I kind of want to say, like, a lot of people been saying, anyway, he was a conjurer. Um, I don't know. Like, I want to just say, V, to me, he could possibly just be a sorcerer. Like, sorcerer and conjurer kind of falls in the same bracket, sort of, if you're stretching it. Not really. But, I don't know. Like, V, to me, could be, like, the first magic-based character that we've seen in Devil May Cry 5. Or in Devil May Cry in general. Like, he could just be a magic-based character. Um, going through portals, um, levitating, conjuring different beings or beasts. Oh, I think V, if he's playable, V's going to be a fun character to use, honestly. Probably one of the more funner characters. Because he could just do so much. Alright, but besides that... Um, I We haven't gotten much of Nero in this trailer. Only because this is a Dante-oriented trailer. Um, the one thing I have noticed, though, is I think most of the cutscenes that they were showing us might have been earlier on. Like, I don't know. They might have been earlier on because I remember in the leaked footage when Dante was fighting Urizen, it did look like Dante's sword got broken. But maybe it was like a misconception. Maybe Dante's sword really didn't get broken. But who knows? But the one thing I do know for a fact is I do believe that this game is going to be story like or okay it's gonna be arc driven so you're gonna go through dante's arcs you're gonna go through nero's arcs and you could possibly go through v arcs and virgil i wouldn't be surprised if they throw in all of virgil's stuff as dlc that's just how i'm thinking about it right now but yeah um those are all my thoughts on the trailer from tokyo game show um let me guys let me guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below um i hope you guys enjoyed the trailer and the live reaction um, I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys take care. And your boy's dropping the mic. Peace.